What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of Cyclones Fan TV, round 12 of the NBL, Adelaide are coming to Cairns to play the Cairns Taipans who have just come off a disappointing round and the Adelaide 36ers have also just come off a disappointing loss against the Illawarra Hawks. <laughs> so the Illawarra Hawks have got some new imports, they, they're looking alright. Without that mellow ball, you can only imagine what they're going to be like when they get him back. But look, Adelaide just came in way too complacent. So look, I'm expecting him to come 100% this game against us. Um, nice 4 o'clock in the afternoon game on Sunday, the 22nd of December. And it's going to be obviously at the Convention Centre for our home game. And if you're not going to the game, you can also watch that on SBS Viceland, Free TV, and also SBS On Demand. Taking a look at the starting lineups, look, no real changes to both of them, I think. They've really cemented their starting lineups. They've even just chucked Brandon Tease in to just be that defensive guard. Maybe we care to be that extra guy, that, that big man that just jumps a little bit higher than Daniel Johnson, I guess. But, you know, he plays short stints as it is. And they've got, you know, guys like Harry Froling, Ramon Moore, and Jack McVeigh off the bench. So, you know, they're obviously key guys for them. But for us, I don't think we've got any changes. Um, quite knowing he had that little injury against um, South East Melbourne, but I did think that was too serious. Hopefully not. Um, so hopefully he's going to be playing on Sunday against them at 4 o'clock. So hopefully there should be a big matchup between Jerome Randall and Scott Machado again. There's been a big argument throughout the league about who's the best point guard. So look, this is going to be another good matchup. Jerome Randall's going to bring it all after having that loss. No must-see matchup, but there is a must-see moment. Um, Aaron Grabeau's retirement. They're going to hang up his jersey in the rafters. I think it's going to be the first ever first ever player for the team for it to be raised up so I think you know it's a big moment for the club I think everyone should get down and watch that as you can see if you obviously not a Taipans fan even an NBL fan Aaron Gabor has played for the Cairns Taipans majority of his career besides his early stint at the Geelong Supercats but he played 14 seasons with the Taipans at a 407 NBL games and, you know we did he did take us to a lot of finals he wasn't a big leader in our team but he was just that guy that could just do everything. You could defend your best player. You could knock down the game-winning jump shot. He could. You could just do it all for you. He didn't care about what his role was. He would just do anything. And he was one of the guys that really kept that tradition for the Cairns Taipans. And no matter who came through, um, we always had a good, good foundation there. And Grabeau was a really good foundation because he he was there from the start until you know just before we won, not won, but been in championship contentions. So he's seen it all, and you can see his career averages are down there below 6.5 points, 2.9 rebounds, 1.1 assists. On a good shooting, 41% from the field and 37% from three. But look, we'll get into the actual game now for my key points here. Number one is contained Jerome Randall. He had 26 and 29 in last round. He had, they had a double round. The two games, he showed up both in both of those games in the clutch moments and has scored you know, over 20 points in... Seven of his last ten, and you know, by the looks of it, he had 26 against Illawarra tonight. So that was, um, you know, a big, a big thing for us to contain because he, he is one of the dynamic players in the league that can just get a shot up at any time, can be able to get by you at any cost. So he'll he'll definitely pick apart our pick and roll. So I'm definitely going to have to see how we handle that and and if 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 it's going to be effective. And the way also that will feed off things is obviously number two, to limit the fast break opportunities. You know, if if we're a bit stagnant in the half court and they create some turnovers, they're going to get out and get running. So we've got to be, you know, really on point in our half court sets. And even defensively, we can definitely turn the Jets on them. So I think it's going to be a game of defense most of the game. But I think there's going to be a lot of scoring. You know, I'll, I'll get into that into my predictions. But... Number three is take care of home court. We've dropped a few too many games, I think, at home. We're, we're so used to winning so many games that we're always in final contention. Last season, we didn't win as many home games, and we were just dead last in the bottom. So now this season, we're getting a better percentage at home, but we really needed this one. Dropping the one against Illawarra, and then the one in against Perth, I thought, was a winnable one. And the one in against Sydney in round one, we'll, we'll let that one slide, but... We've only got one game this round, so we've got to give it everything we have. And also need, yeah, as my other note says, they need every home win to stay in top four contention. And with South East Melbourne losing and Adelaide losing tonight, we get a win, we're back up there. 
But here are my predictions. We've got the tight ends by two. I think Cameron Oliver will get another double-double. Uh, both teams will score over 100. I think that, like, you know, like I said before, that's going to be a very high-scoring game, even though defense is going to play a factor into that. It's going to be a lot of fast-break games, so I think there's going to be a lot of fun there. Um, DJ Newble will definitely score over 20 points. I think that he's just taken that role as the offensive threat. You know, he, he can get it done from the three. He can get it done from the basket. He can pull up in the mid-range. He, he's just at that age now, I think, where he is fully understanding how to get it done. And, you know, he's been on losing teams. He's been on winning teams. I think now he knows how to not command a team, but put the ball in the hoop when it's needed. And also their main score is down below 104 and 106 to us. I think that, you know, like I said, a high-scoring game, but I think that a lot of a lot of things are going to be happening, a lot of dunks, a lot of blocks, a lot of threes, so it's going to be a very up-and-down game, I think. But look, that's everything from me. I'll talk to you guys probably on Monday after the game. Um, hopefully I can get some content out and have it being the only game this round. Take a look at all the other games that have been happening. It's a nice weekend full of NBL, um, and also if you're watching the NBA as well. Um, but besides that, always remember, go to the Mighty Taipans, and I'll talk to you guys on Monday.